Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to solve an aspect of fluid mechanics, which is kinematic of flow, whereby we'll be applying the continuity equation. And the question goes like this: it says water flows through pipe AB. 1.2 meter diameter at 3 meter per second and then passes through a pipe BC 1.5 meter diameter at C. The pipe branches into two CD and CE. Branch CD is 0 0.8 meter in diameter and carries one third of the flow in AB. The flow velocity in branch CE is 2.5 meter per second. Find the volume rate of the flow in AB, the velocity in CD, and diameter of CE. Now if you look closely on the screen, the diagram is displayed on the screen. And this is what we have. If you notice, AB is one section of the pipe that enlarged into BC, which is another section of the pipe, then split into DC and CE. Right? So we are going to um, label. AB as section 1, BC as section 2, CD as section 3, and CE as section 4. Right? So, whatever I'm dealing with section 1, I'll be using subscript 1. Whatever I'll be using section 2, I'll be using subscript 2. Whatever I'll be using section 3, I'll be using subscript 3, and so on and so forth. Now, if you look closely, we see that the diameter at AB, which is section 1, will give it D subscript 1, is equals to 1.2 meter, right? Then, we'll be calculating for the diameter of that section because every diameter has an area. So, we say that the area of AB is a subscript 1 and that will be giving us by d square all over 4. Now the d we are talking about is the diameter of that section which is 1. So we we'll say that pi which is giving us 22 over 7 which is something as saying 3.142 multiplied by the diameter which is 1.2 square all over 4 and this will give us 1.1311 meter per second. Then we are given the velocity at that section, which is AB. We we'll call it V subscript 1. And that will be giving us 3.3 meter per second as given in the question. Similarly, we we'll look at the other section, BC, which we term section 2. The diameter there is given from the equation as dBC, which is given as D2, which is 1.5 meter. Then we'll calculate for the area. So our A2 we're given to be by D2 square over 4. Right? Now that is the section what? Section 2. So when you apply that, if you're having 3.142 times 1.5 square all over 4, right? That will give us what you can see on the screen. We'll move to the next one. At section CD, which is given as what? Subscript 3, right? So we see that diameter there is D subscript 3, and that is 0 0.8 meter, right? And also the area for that section, which is section 3, which is given as the CD, 
and that is given to be pi d3 square over 4 and that will be 3.142 multiplied by 0 0.8 square or divided by 4 and we'll be having 0 0.50272 meter square now we are told that the discharge at CD is one third of the discharge at AB. Don't forget, we use CD as subscript 3, as section 3, and AB as section 1. So I'm going to be saying Q3 is equal to 1 over 3 Q1. This is just saying Q1 all over what? 3, right? So, if you move forward, we are told that the velocity at CE, right, which is given as section 4, is also given to be V circuit 4, and that is 2.5 meter per second. Now, the answer we should look for the volume rate, which is also given as this discharge also, right? At that section one that is a b we're looking for that and we should look at the velocity at um, c d which is given as what which is given as v3 right now we need to start calculating so the solution here we're giving that we should calculate for what the discharge at CD, right, to find the volume rate of flow in AB. That was our first question here. Now we said the volume rate, which is also the same thing as saying the what the discharge, right, is equals at section one is equals to the volume rate or the discharge at section two is equals to discharge at section 3 plus the discharge at section 4 right this is the what we have here so we say equation what equation 1 but we know discharge is given as area times velocity right so we now say that the q subscript 1 is equal to a subscript 1 times v subscript 1 now, what is our A1 here? For what we calculated earlier, A1 is the same thing as saying the area across AB, right? And that is giving us 1.1311 times the velocity at that section, which is giving us 3. And we have in our value to be 3.3936 meter cube per second, right? So this means that the discharge at AB is equal to the discharge at BC. I will give that to be Q circuit 1 equals to Q circuit 2. And that is 3.394 meter cube per second. So we have calculated for that aspect. Now the next thing we are told here is to get the discharge at CD, right? And also the velocity at what? At CD. Actually, the question here says the discharge at CD. For we to calculate the discharge at CD, for we to calculate the velocity at CD, we will calculate the discharge at CD. So from our question here, we say that what? The discharge at CD which is Q subscript 3 is equals to one third of the discharge at AB. It's given as what? Q subscript 1. So when you put in your value, my Q subscript 3 will now be equal to 1 over 3 times Q1, which you calculated earlier, and that is 3.3934. Right? So my Q3 will now give me 1.13112 meter cube per second. Now we we'll move forward. But Q3 
or the discharge at CD is equals to the area at CD multiplied by the velocity at CD. So write that as Q3 equals to A3 times V3. Now what is Q3? Q3 is given to be 1.13112 as calculated above equals to the area which is given as 0 0.50272 multiplied by the V of the 3. So my V3 here will now give me 1.13112 divided by 0 0.50272. So from here, V3 will now give us 2.25 meter per second. So the velocity at the pipe CD or so the velocity at section 3 is equals to 2.25 meter per second. Right? Now from equation 1 above, from equation 1 above, which says Q1 is equals to Q2 is equals to Q3 plus Q4. Will now be giving us what is the Q1? That is the discharge at section AB, and that is 3.3936. Right? Equals to Q2. They are the same thing. Then equals to what is Q3? Q3 is giving us 1.13112 plus Q4. We don't have that. Right? So when you make Q4 the subject of the formula, my Q4 will now be giving me 3.3936 minus. 1.13112, right? So say Q4 will now give me 2.082 meter cube per seconds. Is that taking? Okay? So we've got in Q4, which is the discharge at section CE. But we're told to calculate for what? The diameter at section what? CD, right? So I'll for what? The diameter at section what? Section CE. Is that again? So we know CE is section 4. So I'll say Q4 is equals to A4 V4. And for what we have here, my Q4 will be giving us 2.032 equals to my A4. We'll calculate for that, but we're looking for the diameter. So we we'll say that pi d 4 square over 4 multiplied by v4, which is giving us 2.5. Now, if I do the needful, my 2.082, right, is equals to 22 over 7 multiplied by d4 square over 4 multiplied by 2.5. Now, what is under, which is 7 times 4, which is 28, we go up to multiply 2.082. We call it cross multiplication, right? And that will be giving me, then that will be giving me what? Um, 22 d4 squared times 2.5, right? Now, if you now divide 2.082 times 28 divided by 22 times 2.5 will give me d4 square. Now when you do that, you will be having 1.0601 is equal to d4 square. Now when the square go to the other side, it becomes square root. So my d4 will now give me the square root of 1.0601 is given to be 1.0296 meter. And that is what we have there. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like subscribe share and also share the video thanks for watching